Come on, he can't stop there. To lock 209. 37, I've got 35, 37, I now have... Oh, someone got 37, 30, damn it. Nine, nine, oh, could I have gone 37? So I've been keeping my eyes on the property market for the past three months, viewing multiple properties, both in person and virtually, as a mixture of estate agents and auction properties. And today I'm going to be bidding on a few different properties where you can be a fly on the wall. The property market is definitely a nightmare at the moment. Everything is selling for way more than what it's worth, and it's selling either for more than what it's worth or at the break-even point. So there's a lot of failed deals so far, and it's very, very difficult. But the idea is just keep going and at some point the right property deal will pay off. So let's jump straight in and see if I can get my hands on an auction property today. Otherwise, it will be a stressful experience, but <laughs> it's all for YouTube, so let's see how things go. Okay, so the auction is lot 187. It's just about to come up, so I'm going to record now and go through some of the details. So this property is around my hometown in South Yorkshire and it's listed the guide price around £20,000. I think the max offer is around 35, so there's not much skin in the game in this one. The reason being that the refurb, it needs a complete refurb, so around 20 to 21,000 pound. I also spotted in the legal pack that there's also a statement here that says, on or before completion, the buyer is liable to pay the seller 8,000 pounds as a buyer's premium. So you need to be careful of these buyer's premiums in the auction packs. So, this means that somebody could bid on the property and not realise that there's an £8,000 charge on top of it. So all I've done is looked at £42,000 as my um, kind of max bid minus the 8k fee that I found in the legal pack, which is how I come to 35. I could get bid out pretty quickly. Hopefully the auctioneer doesn't start the auction on 35 because I'll just be gone straight away. Um, so yeah, I think it's worth around £80,000 on the market and it should give a profit of £10,000 if I got this property at 35 So let's see how it goes and hope for the best. I actually finally get now why people talk about the experience at auction because my heart is pumping right now waiting for this auction to come up. Here we go, they're about to sell it and we're about to go on to lot 187 which is the one I'm interested in. Hopefully I don't get bid out on the first bid, let's see. 187 uh, is 9 Simpson Place, Mexborough, South Yorkshire. Uh, 30,000 again, Lily, please, oh, and 5,000 in fours. And I've got a, a proxy at 30, so in we go straight away. Oh. Uh, 30,000 pounds, looking for 35 for lot 187. 35, I've got Mr. B, thank you, at 35. Yeah, I've got Mr. We B. have 40 now, 40. Yeah, I've got Mr. Straight R. out. Yes, we've got 40 already, straight away. 45, I've got now oh, from Mr. This is going to go. This will be interesting to see how high this goes. Make it 47 then, Lily, please. 45 is questionable. 47, I'm asking. I've got 45. So the reason why I can't online. go in now at 47 is Proxy because is now out. that eats space all my profit and this becomes a break even. I've got even. telephone bid at 47. 49 I'm looking for online or on by telephone. 49 Ooh, I've got yeah, Mr. H. Yeah, this is H. getting a little bit too high now. 49 I've got Mr. H. 51, Richard. No, 49 then being sold. Well, we'll go for 50 if you like. Have a thousand. At 49,000 pounds. It is being sold though. First time at 49, second time at 49 to Mr. H. Third of the very last time at 49,000 pounds. 50 just in time, Mr. F. 50,000 pounds, Mr. Tense. F. 51 I've got now, Mr. H. 52, Mr. F. 52, it's still Mr. going, F. this is unbelievable. So currently, if we do this property live. Mr. H being sold at 51. First time, second time, third and the very last time at 51. 52,000 pounds. Let's try this. So at 52,000 pounds, it would be a minus 17% return on investment. 53. 53,000 pounds. Going, going, going. And 1, 2, 3, at 53, 54. And there's R. Going. Can I have 55? I have 55. Still going. I think on this one that. The people bidding on this haven't read the legal pack, and there's also an extra £8,000 cost on top of this. Ooh, £57,000. That is ridiculous. Okay, so let's let's do a bit of a post-analysis on this. So the max offer was £57,000. Now, I have a feeling that if the person who bought this didn't read the legal pack, they wouldn't have spotted that there's an extra £8,000 charge on top of that price. Now, I've factored it into my refurb field, so I think that refurb is about 
20, 21,000 pound plus then the 8K on top of it. So if my numbers are correct, the property is just sold for 57,000 pound. It's gonna take 20,000 pounds to do it up. And then it's also going to take another 8,000 pound as that special buyer's premium cost on top of it. If the property is worth 80,000 pound, then in theory, that property would make a 14,196 pound loss. And that is why I stopped bang on at 35,000 pound, because the more and more I bid up with that, the more I start eating firstly into the profit and what is my contingency. And then secondly, then you just start making a loss because you also have to factor in everything else on top of it. And when they then go to get it refinanced, if it's not worth what they think it is, they have to somehow cover the shortfall or get off the bridging loan. So that one's a no-go. We'll see how the second one goes. It'll probably happen in about another hour. It's probably going to be outbid as well because a lot of the properties on this auction are really, really hot, but we'll see what happens. But hopefully that was interesting. And uh, let's just keep going and see what happens. Okay, so the next property is in Sheffield. It uh, is very similar to the last one. So it needs a 21 grand refurb. And there's also a hidden £8,000 buyer's premium in the legal pack. So what we need to do here is bid a maximum of around £35,000. I think it's going to oversell. It's been overselling for the whole auction. So 21k refurb, 8k uh, extra fees on top. I think it's going to be worth around £80,000 and that's really pushing it as well. That's not even um, a kind of moderate estimate there. So in theory, if I got it for 35, I would make about 10k profit after all of the costs of the bridging loan, that's the broker's free arrangement costs, etc. And then monthly interest payments over around six months. So we're just about to go in. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're up 209. Let's see what happens. I have a feeling I'll be bid straight, outbid straight away. Let's see what happens. I hope he doesn't start it at 30. 33 Scarsdale Street, Dinnington, Sheffield, lot 209. Can we start that at 25 again? 25, I'll take that. Five intervals. This might go for about freehold 40 this rate. time. Vacant mid terrace, freehold property. So I've got I'm just going to hold. 25,000 pounds straight away. Someone's 25, gone in. 25,000. I suspect you're bidding on. Yeah, bidding. I've got 30,000. I've got 30,000. Oh, I shouldn't have done that because now I can't bid. Um, if someone bids 35, I've lost it. Can I have 35? Can I have 35 online? Yes, 35. I've got 35. Oh, that's annoying. I shouldn't have done that. Online at 35. So I wish I now was sitting on 35. Oh, come on, it can't stop there. For lot 209, 37, I've got 35, 37, I now have... Oh, someone's got 37, 39, damn it. Oh, could I have gone 37? I now have 39. 39 is eight, too much. Nope, it's oversold. oversold. I could have gone for 37 at a push and hoped for a slightly higher four. GDV. I've got 39. Yes, Mr. S, come on in. Oh, at 41. On. 40 then, would that help? Uh, 40, 40, I'm looking for another £1,000. I've worth got it. that nope, now it's not worth it. Definitely 40, worth it. 41, this is the hardest 41, point of an auction, is just saying no and stopping. Now, Mr. R or Miss H. 42, I've got no, Mr. it's going now. It's definitely going 43, way 43, I'm looking for. 43, I want. 43, I want. I've got Mr. A in at 42. 43, Miss B is in at 43. 44, could I have? At £43,000. So uh, this one's, uh, it's close, but it's just going, uh, just above what I think I could afford. In at 44. Miss B, you're out, have 44. Mr. R, thank you, sir. 47, oh, Mr. R. Everything is overselling for insane amounts. 47,000 pounds. I'll show you the numbers after this as well, then. We'll, we'll do a bit of a breakdown of whatever it sells for. 48,000. 47,000 pounds then, going to Mr. R. First time, second time, third of the... I have 49. No, Mrs. A, you've got it then at 48,000 for the first time. Second time, going to dwell no longer. Third of the very last time, you have it. Nobody's hovering. 48, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this one, let's do the figures. So 48,000 pounds, 48,000. So again, if this was an investor using a bridging loan, there's the hidden £8,000 fee, which people won't be looking at or acknowledging. So £48,000, 21k refurb, 8k for the hidden cost in the legal pack. Um, also worth around £80,000 gross development value. And that's a, quite a, a spot on costing. That would make a £4,200 loss and a minus 8% return on investment. You could push this a little bit and say, well, what if the property was worth £85,000? you would be making a 1% return on investment and £700 profit. So it just really is not worth £48,000. So 
that hopefully shows you why you should do your due diligence at auctions and you should also stick to a figure and don't go above it. For me, it was really tempting to go from 35 to 37. I maybe would have gone to 37 and then in the hope that I got a slightly high GDV. But beyond that, there's not much profit left in it. So hopefully you found that useful and interesting seeing what it's like bidding at auction. I'm sure that the right property will come along soon and we'll just keep looking on the market and see what happens. If you enjoyed this video, I've got loads of other great ones like this one just on top here, which is my day in the life of a property investor. Or you can check the one on the bottom, which is my data deep dive into the top 2021 buy to let hotspots this year. So feel free to choose one of these and I'll see you on the other side.